Hello, good morning. We bless God for such a wonderful morning. We want to go straight into the Word. Today I have titled the message, Taking the Step of Faith. Or we can put it, Taking the Step of Faith into your promised land. And we'll look at the book of Joshua chapter 3. Joshua chapter 3. And looking at this, uh, and preparing towards this uh, sharing, I had to quickly do a quick study on the book of Joshua. And there were four steps that came to me. So I noted down that the four steps to your inheritance. The first step is the word of the Lord or the promise or we can put it the prophecy the word of the Lord the promise or your prophecy and the whole chapter 1 of the book of Joshua talks about how the word of the Lord came to Joshua after the death of Moses and all that God told him about what is ahead of him and the next step is working out the word in prayer. And that is the chapter 2. So when the word of the Lord comes to us, a prophecy, a revelation, a vision, a dream comes to us, we need to work it out. We need to pray it, pull down all the strongholds and anything that will inhibit the fulfillment of the word of the Lord. And when you look critically in Joshua chapter 2, that was when they sent the spies into the land. So prayer and every prophetic act that you have to do to ensure that you are really certain and you really have a crap or a hold on that which God has said is what we have to do as a second step to entering into our inheritance. And the third step which we are coming to talk about today is taking the step of faith. That is Joshua chapter 3. Or if you like, crossing the Jordan into your inheritance. And the last step is when you actually inherit the promise or inheriting the promise and establishing yourself in it. And that spans from Joshua chapter 4 to the last chapter, which is chapter 24. And it is worth noting that the last step involves a lot. It involves battles because as you are inheriting, going to inherit the land, there are people or there are things that are already established or taken in trend positions in those places that you have to root out. And so they had several battles to root out all the establishment that, is, that are not of God for them to really get themselves entrenched in the land. And then you have several confrontations. And then you also would have to make several decisions on even who and what parcels or portion of the inheritance belongs to which people. And then, finally, where you come to the place of rest, where we can say you have totally inherited the promised land. So, maybe the other aspect will be for another time, but today, we want to look at taking the step of faith or crossing the Jordan into your promised land. So we'll quickly go to the chapter 3. I read. It says, And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Sitim and came to Jordan, 
he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before they passed over. And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host, and they commanded the people, saying, When ye see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priest, the Levites, bearing it, then ye shall remove from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about two thousand cubits of by meter. Come not near unto it, that ye may know the way by which ye must go. For ye have not passed this way thereof. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Verse 6. And Joshua spake unto the priests, saying, Take up the ark of the covenant, and pass over before the people. And they took up the ark of the covenant, and went before the people. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. And thou shalt command the priests that bear the ark of the covenant, saying, When ye are come to the brink of the water of Jordan, ye shall stand still in Jordan. And Joshua said unto the people, unto the children of Israel, Come hither and hear the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Hereby but ye shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Hebatites, and the Perizzites, and the Gergashites, and the Amorites, and the Jebusites. Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth passed over before you into Jordan. Now therefore take you twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of every tribe a man, and it shall come to pass as soon as the souls or the feet of the priest that bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand up and heap. And it came to pass when the people removed from their tents to pass over Jordan, and the priests bearing the ark of the covenant before the people, and as they that bear the ark were come unto Jordan, and the feet of the priests that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water. For Jordan overfloweth all his banks all the time of harvest, that the waters which came down from above stood and rose up upon an, an heap very far from the city Adam, that is beside Zaretan. And those that came down towards the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, failed and were cut off, and the people passed over right against Jericho. 17, the last verse. And the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the midst of Jordan, and all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over Jordan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God for this morning. We thank Him for His Word. Brethren, we just want to take some few points from this chapter. For every word of the Lord that comes to us, every promise, every prophetic word, every vision, every revelation that God brings to us, there is a step that we need to take to enter into that promise. There's a step of faith that we need to take by the help of the Lord to enable us to possess that possession or inherit that promise or inherit that which God has said He has installed for us. And one critical step is the step of faith. There could be several things that the Lord has spoken to us about your family, about your business, about your ministry, about a particular thing that the Lord wants you to do or wants to do with you or want to establish through you. 
those words of revelations and visions and dreams and aspirations will be lying idle or will be unrealized until we take the step of faith. And the people of Israel got to that crossroads that after the 40 years in the wilderness and after the death of Moses and Joshua took over, they need to indeed inherit the promise that God has spoken and for which God led them out of Egypt. They had been in the wilderness for several years and the time for them to inherit the promise has come. But God did not let it just come to them by a miracle. But they need to take a step of faith to activate that miracle. And that step was for them to cross the Jordan River into the land of promise. So, the chapter 1 talks about how urgent they attach urgency to move into their promise. It says that and early in the morning they rose from Shittim and came to Jordan and all the children of Israel and lodged there before they passed over. They attached some urgency to taking that step into their promise. For every word that God has said, how serious we take it, how, how determined, how committed we are to see that word come to pass, it goes a long way in seeing us really inherit that promise. So when the word of the Lord has come to us and we have prayed, we have fasted, we have done all the prophetic art, we have done all the background checks and everything, and we are really sure and certain and we know in the spirit realm and even sometimes physically what is ahead of us, then we have to take the step of faith to into that promise and you have to attach some urgency to it. And the people of God took some urgency to it and they rose up early in the morning and got to the place of Jordan for them to cross the river. The second thing that we realize that God instructed them for them to be able to take that step into their promise is that the presence of the Lord was with them in every step of that process. So the presence of the Lord, the, 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 the Holy Spirit, we need the Holy Spirit more than ever before when we are taking that step of faith into the promised land. The Ark of the Covenant they were instructed was to be carried and led ahead of them by the priests, the representatives of God, the people that were leading them. It could be in the family, the head of the family, the priest, the prophet. It could be in the institution, at the workplace, in the community, in every kind of organization or setting, there should be somebody that is leading the process, that is giving direction, hearing from the Lord, and saying that this is what the Lord wants us to do. If it is personally yourself, then you will be your own leader under the Lord, led by the Holy Spirit, giving you direction that take the step, move this way, go this way, take this step, cross this way, drive to this place, or Pray this way. Position yourself this way. Pitch your business this way. You know, this relationship, do it this way. This marriage, do it this way. For you to be able to indeed cross and inherit the promise. We need the Holy Spirit. And the hack of the covenant is a representation of God, of the presence of God, of the Spirit of God. And the several instructions that way they were given on how the Ark of the Covenant was to be carried ahead of them so that the people would walk after the priest that were, would walk behind the priest that were carrying the Ark of the Covenant. It symbolized the presence of the Lord. We need the presence of the Lord. Our worship lifestyle, our prayer lifestyle, our connection with the Holy Spirit is very critical for us to indeed inherit the promise, for us indeed take that step of faith in the act of this, taking that step of faith, we 
we need to take that step with the Holy Spirit so that we will step the place He has instructed us to step. We will take that step. We will move into that place that He wants us to move. I don't know if I'm painting the picture very well, but these people of Israel, they were to go into Canaan, the promised land, and there was Jordan that they had to cross. So it could be a promise of a particular breakthrough, a miracle, a dream, something that God wants to do with you about a marriage, as a business breakthrough. Uh, I don't know what we are trusting God and desiring God for. That we need to take a step into it after praying and doing that. We need to say the Lord, this is what you have said. I believe it. What I have to do, I have done. And so I usher myself and move into it. You need to take that action that will launch you into that place of promise. And that is what the people of God did. They took away, they moved from their past through the Jordan into their future. And that is what we have to for some of these things, we have to patiently pray about God for God to give us clear direction and tell us what and what and what exact steps we have to take to enter into that place. And that is what Joshua, the leader with the priest, had to lead the people of God. And they went through the Jordan into that place of promise. The verse 10 says that, And Joshua said, Hereby ye shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Hivites, and the Hivites, and the Perizzites, and the Gagashites, and the Amorites, and the Jebusites. Brethren, as we take this step of faith, every inhibition, every hindrance, anything that stands against the promise, anything that stands against that which God has said, He has installed for us. As we take that step of faith, the word of the Lord to us is that all hindrances will give way. If only we will take that step of faith. All barriers will drop off. All blockades will give way. Every obstacle will fall off. If only will take the step of faith. And the Lord told Joshua to tell his people that the Jebusites, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Perizzites, the Gagashites, Amorites will give way for them to enter into the promise. As they go through the Jordan with the Spirit of the Lord, with the presence of the Lord, everything that is an inheritance will give way. Everything that is an inheritance will give way. The Lord told him from the beginning that, look, he, will, he said, verse 7, And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. The Lord will indeed magnify us. The Lord indeed will glorify us. The Lord will indeed magnify you, glorify you, turn the stories around for good. The Lord will indeed put a song in your mouth. The Lord it will indeed cause you to see that which you have dreamt of, you have prayed for several years. The Lord will indeed cause you to see it, to enter into it, to see it fruition, to see it become a reality if we are obedient and take that step of faith. As the presence of the Lord goes with us, the crunch time will come that the Jordan will give way. Though it was a time of the harvest where the Jordan has overflown, is, has overflow, is, flown its banks, it will give way because the Spirit of the Lord is with us. The hand of the Lord is upon us. The power of God is with us. God is taking us through those steps. As we go through that relationship, as we go through that marriage, as we go through that business, in the step of faith, in obedience to the will of the Lord, as we are led by the Holy Spirit, 
every Jordan will give way and will step in the Jordan on dry ground and will cross. And not only us will take along our people, our family, our relatives, our congregation, our community, our nation, all the people that the Lord has ordained us to lead them, they will go along with us because we are leading them in the Lord. They will also cross the Jordan on dry ground and we will enter into the promise that the Lord has for us. Hallelujah. We want to pray briefly this morning. We want to pray with this few five minutes that we have. We want to pray. We want to come before the Lord and pray. Say, God, increase my faith, Lord. That which you are trusting God for, that which you are believing God for, that which you are hoping that God will bring you that breakthrough, that God will bring you that testimony, that God will bring you that that glory, that God will bring you that lifting, that God will bring you that miracle, that God will bring you that opening, that God will bring you that uh, release, that God will give you that expansion. You want to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that God, every necessary faith, anything that is necessary, anything that is needed, anything that I will need, that step of faith that I will need to take to enter into that promise, Lord, give me that grace, increase my faith, that I will not be deterred, I will not be afraid to take that step of faith, that which God wants us to do about that relationship, about that marriage, about that business, about that calling, about that grace, about that 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 thing, that project. You want to pray that the Lord will increase your faith, will increase our faith, that we'll come to the place where we will indeed cross the Jordan. The Jordan needs to be crossed for us to inherit our promise. The Jordan needs to be crossed for us to see the fruition. The Jordan needs to be crossed for us to indeed step our foot on the land that flows with milk and honey. The Jordan needs to be crossed. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace. You give us grace. You give us grace. Increase our faith, Lord. Help our unbelief, Lord. Strengthen us, O oh God, that we'll be able to take this step of faith to cross the Jordan into the promise. We'll be able to take this step of faith to cross the Jordan into the place of breakthrough. We'll be able to take this step of faith to take the to, to to cross the Jordan into that promise, that place that you have installed, you have reserved for us, Lord, for many years. And it looks like we have not seen it. We have not yet entered into it, Lord. Help us that we'll be able to enter into that place of promise in the name of the Lord Jesus as an individual, as a family, as a church, Lord. That place of promise for us as Liberty Grace Life Chapel, Lord. Help us that we'll be able to enter into it, that that breakthrough, that opening, that overflow, that abundance will come unto us. We will see it, we will work in it, we will inherit it, we will flourish in it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the abundance, that overflow, that overflow, that overflow, we will work in it as a church, as a family, as individuals, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, that our faith will be increased to walk and enter into that promise. We will certainly cross the Jordan. We will take the step of faith into our promised land. We will take the step of faith into our inheritance. We will take a step of faith into our possession. We will take the step of faith to see the realization of everything that you have said concerning us. That the Lord will be magnified in our sight. The Lord will magnify us in the sight of our people, in the sight of our friends, in the sight of our family, in the sight of the nation. Not about us, but about the Lord. That the Lord will indeed be magnified. Father, we give you praise, Lord, for your word. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. 
that for several years having spoken to the people of Israel that you were going to take them from bondage into the place of promise that day indeed really came Lord that for all that you have said concerning us that you take us into the place of abundance and breakthrough and restoration Lord cause us to really see that day that it will not just be hanging on the shelves Lord it will not just be something that we speculate and anticipate to see but indeed we will see it we will walk in it we will see it come to pass we give you praise we give you glory. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your enablement through your spirit. We thank you for the leading of the Holy Spirit that we will take that step of faith into that inheritance. We bless you as a church. We bless you as a family. We bless you individually. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless us all. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Dan. And God bless you. Brother Rumi, tomorrow we'll have service from 8 o'clock. 8 to 8.30 is the prayer time. And then our service will start with worship at 8.30. Join in. Come. Let's praise the Lord. Have a good day. Bye-bye.